Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and that's the wrong goddamn save file. We are going to jump in and have ourselves a nice little run. Um, We could try and finish off Isaac. We could try and finish off Kane. We could try and finish off Judas. We've got a lot of characters that are nearing completion. A lot indeed. Let's do Mother as Lazarus. Uh, that'll finish off his completion marks. And I very much enjoy uh, base Lazarus. Also, it's kind of nice to have that red poop, honestly, because now we have a pretty good way to kill ourselves should we need to, which um, normally, as little old Lazarus here, um, it's usually a pretty good idea to kill yourself. <laughs> For the question of the day, would you kill yourself? No, don't answer that, please. <laughs> um, everyone here is happy. No one's depressed. Everyone is in love. Everyone's having a great time. This is people's escape, turtle. Stop talking about suicide. <laughs> Anyways, this was a fun start to an episode. What's wrong with me? Uh, we're just going to continue on and pretend I didn't say any of that. Um, I, I, I spoke about this lovely idea of having this red poop to kill myself, not realizing that we were on the burning basement and there's fire literally everywhere. So, not particularly necessary. Oh god, I've got a very itchy head all of a sudden. Very itchy head indeed, but we do have Godhead unlocked now, which I'm very excited about. We've been playing as some modded characters recently. If there's any other modded characters that people want to see added to the roster, please let me know because we can't have the capacity to add more at the moment because um, my new PC is meaning that lag isn't affecting us as bad as it once was. Um, and so I do want to try out more characters on the roster. Um, eh, whatever, plus 10 bombs. It's, it's, it's actually not that bad, um, but... It's not ideal, I guess. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 it is what it is. It is what it is. Right, I want to take out this big boy first. Good, good. Makes things a little easier for us. But for the actual question of the day, how was your Thanksgiving if you're American? And if you aren't American, what else did you do yesterday? Because I'm not American. Like, I, I actually, uh, I tried playing Dying Light 2 is what I did yesterday with a, with a friend. Um... Me and uh, a friend from America. One of the ones that's actually part of the friend group that gave me the Turtle Melon name originally. Uh, kill anyone has a chance to give a blue wisp? Yes, please. Um, yeah, uh, I tried playing some Dying Light 2 with them because um, I originally played the first Dying Light with a mod called I Am Legion with them and it was a hell of a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to need to move this one second. Um, it was a hell of a lot of fun, so I was like, oh, I wonder if that mod exists for Dying Light 2, and it does, and the game has ray tracing and stuff, so I'm like, hell yes, let's, um, let's play some Dying Light 2 with this mod, but apparently it's very difficult to actually get the mod working, um, here maybe? No, what the fuck is Secret Room? I'm confused. <laughs> No, not there. I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. We do get birth certificate there. Resurrection as Lazarus grants damage up. Damage up wears off over 60 seconds. Killing enemy while the effect extends it. I mean, I guess I'll give it a go. If we can get it. I don't think we're going to be able to afford it though, are we? Balls. Where the hell is the goddamn secret room? I'm a bit perplexed. I'm going to be using pretty much all of my bombs here. Well, there's that one at least. Okay, let's do the boss. Ugh, really? You're going to give me a cube of meat? Why? Why must you do this? Nobody loves cube of meat. Unless you're going to give me four of them, you can bugger off. Also, this is kind of a terrible room for this guy. Hey, I finally got a wisp. I'm getting a kill. I wonder how common that is. It doesn't seem super common, but then again, if it was common, it'd probably be pretty overpowered, so I kind of get it. Dude, can you calm down with the pooters, please? This is egregious. Do you know what? I'm just going to bomb him. I'm getting pissed off. There you go. You need to chill yourself out, my guy. Chill yourself out. Right. Secret room. I need you, and I need you to contain a lot of money. 
So we know where do we know it isn't? So it can't be left, can't be right. It can't be to the side of here. It isn't to the side of here. I guess it could be here, below the uh, thingy room here, maybe. There you go. It isn't exactly what I was hoping for, but it is good. Cool. Right. Okay. It's time to die. Good stuff. Got a lot of trinkets on this floor. I guess there's a theoretical chance I could get enough pennies from these fires. Although, highly, highly unlikely. Come on, one of you needs to give me a nickel. Or you all need to give me single pennies. Doesn't look like it's happening, boys. The dream is dead. The birthright dream is dead. We got so close. But in the end, it didn't even matter. Anyways. Let's head down to the next floor. Gimme, gimme. Away we go. Right, so we will be trying to uh, kill ourselves whenever we can as this guy, but honestly my health right now is not in a great place for me to want to do that. But there is a sack room this floor, which does does certainly make me think a little differently. Now, I, I absolutely hate this as an idea for a room. I can't bloody hit these guys at the best of goddamn times. Don't introduce something that makes it harder to not get hit. Oh, really, game? Now you're going to give me so much money, you biatch? What do you do? Um, I'm going to guess that's bugged, because that guy's just kind of frozen there. My dude just chilling. He is the big chilling. It's okay, though. Um, debug. Okay. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, excuse me, where did that red heart go? I just picked up a red heart and it didn't fill my burn heart at all. Is there a reason for that, game? Like one? Also, what is going on in here? Um, how do I go up again, page up? Okay, I might need to get rid of um, the missing item charge bars mod, because it seems to be having some issues... But yeah, where did that red heart go? I just picked up a red heart and it literally did- it just disappeared. Good old wispies. Okay. You're getting in on those guys. Calm down, fella. I know you're going to chase after me in a minute. Not much very fond of that. Not much very fond is definitely exactly how I meant to phrase that. Right, pick this heart up this time. There you go. I was just about to say, if I don't get hit in this room, I'm going to be very surprised. There's too much going on here for me to comprehend. What do you do again? Oh, you zap, don't you? Oh, God. You big zap. Okay. Head on back now, y'all. I'm hoping I can use some red hearts here for the sack room. And then kill myself on the sack room. But I kind of need a soul heart on the floor somewhere for me to want to use the sack room. Nice. And what do you do? Oh, you just have hovering tears, is that all? Monstrous Lung, I will take. I quite like Monstrous Lung as an item. I mean, with this amount of um, fire rate, it's, it's not great. It's not great, mind you. Um, yeah, I'd probably... I don't know, do I want to take that? Maybe not. 
I do want to take Mum's coin purse, though. So I, I think what I'm going to do here is I'm going to leave all those there. Come back. I've got a heart there. So come in here. We'll do one. And we'll grab this. We'll go do the boss. Then we'll come back. But yeah, quite quite like Monstrous Lung. I think it's a, a top tier item. I think we've got secret room just below us here. There you go. Not bad. A little bit of extras here for here for us. Right, boss time. Here we go. Good, good. Okay, I've uh, I've buggered up here in my pathing. I've I've created a hellscape already. Okay, luckily he didn't dive around too much yet. Fuck. Kind of expected that. Okay, so now we're gonna leave. Come back. This is gonna be a little bit of an arduous process, but. It's going to be worth it. So we get one player. There's a pill as well. Uh, we are going to want to kill ourselves. So one, two, three. Okay, yeah, we'll do. We'll just do this now. One. Okay, four, five, six, seven. We got a teleport, which I wasn't really looking for. But do you know what? Give me the lusty blood. Why not? It gives us our respawn. Ah, bugger. I, I kind of forgot we had another one of these. Okay, so in this circumstance, I think I go and grab the burn heart. And fill it up and do that. Right, fire rate's going to be huge here. Didn't get a ton of it, but it's enough. Right, then we come on back now, y'all. And we sacrifice that half heart. Then we gobble down every single pill in existence. Hey! We got a little baby. There was a heart right here. What was I doing? Um, I guess I'll do this. Okay, that wasn't what I wanted to happen, but there you go. We also got a disc somehow. Uh, right. I've still got plans here. I'm taking my sweet time, I realise, but I think it's worth it on this floor, especially when we're doing Mother. We want every advantage we can grab. So we come back over here. We grab this half heart. We spawn little old Uriel. Muriel the Uriel. And then we go and we grab our soul heart and we bugger off. So we do that, we leave, and then we want one more heart from our shop to finish this off. Oh, there's no red heart in here. For some reason I thought there was. Okay, anyways, let's grab the soul heart. Let's gobble down our pills and hope we get a full health from one of them. A pex? Oh, wait, no. Wait, actually, no, we... Tears up. Oh, amazing. Range downs, whatever. I think I can take a perk to take a half uh, a half soul heart of damage here, which is kind of worthwhile for the potential of a lot more money or a lot more soul hearts. Perks. Yeah, there you go, look. Beautiful stuff. Okay, that went reasonably well. Pretty happy with the result. We've got decent fire rate from Monstro's Lung now. Not great, but decent enough. And we can go on down to the next floor with our head held reasonably high. I feel good. I feel like I did I did my due diligence on that floor. I played that to the fullest extent that I could. You guys gonna chase? There you go. You just walk straight into the fire. Boom, 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 boom. We're actually getting a decent amount of wisps here as well. I, I'd have thought it'd be less than this, but I'm happy to see it. Dun, dun, dun. Pop in here real quick. 4.5 volt, while obviously not useful now, I do quite like. 
Uh, secret room's probably here. Or oh, second secret room, should I say. Might as well have a black heart. We'll take these unidentified pills. Oh, we got a golden bomb out of that. Nice. Chaos Disc I'll just use now. I got Spirit Sword. Let's just bang out the boss. Wow, I've got Spirit Sword. We might as well absolutely cream the boss. Nice. And we got Booster Pack, which eh, could be good. Could be good. Four keys worth of pickups. That's pretty good. Magician, Fireballs, Hermit, and... All pickups into random hearts. We'll obviously take that for a large room. Okay. We do have golden bombs right now, so let's uh, use them wherever we can. Uh, tears up is almost definitely the one I want here. Especially if it's 0.25. It's 0.25. Oh, it is amazing. Right, well, we might be at the point now where killing ourselves isn't the best idea. Because we've got a hell of a lot of HP. Right, keep it going. We're at the point now where our fire rate is actually pretty decent. Those 0.25 bonuses, considering they don't, they like ignore whatever your current tier rate is. We are getting a good amount of soul hearts on the floor, though. Which is making me, making me a little more okay with killing myself. Although I still think it's a pretty big risk at this point. Right. Unleash all this money. Take a random item. Twinkle of Contagion. Isn't that the one where when we look at an enemy it like gives us its light? It's, it's, a, it's a weird one. I remember that. Half soul heart there. Strange poop there. Mirror room. Don't like not having mapping right now. Gimme Bebski Isaac. If we can get another sack room on this floor, that'd be great, but I don't think two sack rooms can show up in a row. Oh wait. Haha <laughs> baby. Okay. Right. I was led astray. So what was in our shop again? It was 4.5 volt. Okay. Anyways, come back in here. Um, no? Didn't we have a perks pill somewhere? There it is. We might not need to kill ourselves, to be honest. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. I'll kill him so I can keep my thingy p pill alive. Money! And the buffed, um, mum's thingy of pills is pretty good. Tears down? God damn it. At least it's only a minor tears down. Right. There's that taken care of, at least. Uh, right, what do we want to do next? I don't remember. I think we're just going to go back and find our soul hearts and stuff, right? Right, so we've got some hearts in here. We got any hearts in here? No. We do have some soul hearts about. I think we've got two in the secret room. Of which I didn't really realize we can boss, bomb into our boss trap. Just one in here, sorry. HP up, why not? Good stuff. We are wrecking enemies right now. Goodbye, my flushy boy. Then we got like a half soul heart over here, maybe. I can't remember. We've got we've got health dotted around everywhere. 
I'm gonna have to check everywhere now because I don't remember. Yeah, that I thought we had a heart over here. Yeah, get that perks pill pretty darn useful. I never really take advantage of the fact that perks pills work on sacrifice rooms. It's something I forget about quite often, but it's obviously very useful. Uh, right, let's go and uh, walk into our white fires now. See if we can find a crawl space, I guess, while we're at it. Should be right here. Boom, bow. Da, da. Love the music on this floor. Right, straight through our mirror. And try and be safe. We do have wisps to help us out in, in staying safe. I didn't expect that enemy to be there. We also got a few of these estrogen boys to help us out. Excuse me? Oh, uh, hello. Grab that. Um, boss is a little risky here, but I kind of think we should go for it. See, there's a thingy of Twinkle of Contagion thing going on there. I One thing I really don't like about it as an item is it's the noise it makes is just horrible. So many wisps. Why do I got to make that noise? Yeah, look, we're doing so much damage here that it's a foregone conclusion that this guy's burned. And you got some Hurst on Toast for it as well. Why not? Why not grab some Hurst on Toast that, that apparently gave us no damage up, which is, um, I feel a bit scammed, considering it's literally supposed to give you a damage up. I'm not quite sure why it didn't there. That's, uh, anyone, anyone got any clue as to why that might be? Right, through here we go. We bomb the mirror to get more reflected items. And we continue on with this pretty joyous run so far. We do have redemption as well, so I believe redemption is if we go into a devil deal and we don't take anything, we don't touch any chests, nothing, and leave, we gain damage and something else. I can't remember what the other thing is that we gain. Plus three fireballs. I'll take the hermit considering the amount of money I currently have. And down we go. Straight to the shoppeth. Straight to the shoppeth we go. Uh, in fact, we can cheese this a little bit by going in here first. Check out what's going on here. Hagalas. And then we can hermit out. And we get ourselves the dream catcher, which I do not mind at all. The recycler. Turns an item pedestal into pickups like tainted cane. I very highly doubt we're going to use that. Our pickup game right now is pretty strong. So I don't think that's going to be something that we particularly need. Can, can we chill out, please, guys? Thank you. And then in here... Um, thrown head thing, I'm not that bothered about. Ball of is pretty decent though, I like that. Try and do all these connecting rooms here. Yeah. Oh, actually, Ball of is really good for us because we've got um, a smelted cork. Had a feeling. Estrogen up again. We'll pop it. Why not? Do we want to take this, is the question. Do we want to take this? Because this is, this thing's risky. Basically, rooms will now cycle, which is not great. <laughs> right, um... We've got another sack room, though, which I'm pretty interested in. we got a planetarium, thank God I didn't take it too soon. Right, let me let me wait for this. You guys are gonna be assholes, aren't you? Oh no, you turned around. Nice. We all good? Right, planetarium. What do you hold for us? Palace. I love palace. Palace has a really cool visual, like this ring around your face, but also it's just really good getting damage per room explored. Can't goddamn hit this guy. There you go. 
What's, what's in here? Just a stern. Ah, no, no, to, to be fair, stern chest could be pretty good. Let's not shoot it straight away, though. Unfortunately, it gave me literally a penny and nothing more. Yeah, I'm, I'm really liking ball attire right now. It's an absolute huge spread of uh, of slowing creep around most of the room. Nice and easy. Hey, we got a token out of it. Okay, so let's uh, leave that token there. Right, let's start sacking. Let's start sacking. One. Two. Three. Four. I'm loving this this buff to uh, bag of pills. Okay, two of the same thing. Five, six, and seven. Unfortunate. Not exactly what we we're looking for out of that. But now we can go back through here. This way. We can grab this. And then we can grab the token to get another one of those special hearts. It gives us this little ghost around us. When the ghost dies, it gives us uh, half a soul heart, so... Pretty useful. Token, where art thou? There you go, look. Good stuff. Good stuff thus far. Don't think I want that item. It's it's interesting, but it's super risky. Oh, buddy, I took another token there. I didn't even realise there was a token. Um, I could play this guy, to be fair. I've got so much money, like, why not? He's in a place where I can't push into him to play him fast. Store Whistle? Hell yes. Store Whistle is incredible. Let's come in here. Pop a Store Whistle. And we get Boil Baby. It's not really what I was hoping for, but... I will take a Boil Baby, why not? Not particularly expensive. Especially when we have this much money. Come in here. I was hoping for a battery charge. Darren. I should have fucking used it in the planetarium, you goof. Why didn't I use it in the planetarium? Moron. That's not secret room. Okay. Maybe we can find a battery charge some other way on this floor. What a goof I am. What a goof. The Easter Nut pills are, like, way too strong. <laughs> like, look how long these wisps have lasted. It's kind of silly. Can you get your stinky little bomb flies away from me, please? You basically just killed yourself for the most part there. Torn photos, fantastic for us right now. And this is tricky. Sinner's, uh, Sinner's Prayer is just good for damage. Holy Waters, of course, ace. The Liar is insanely good. The only problem with the Liar right now is it wouldn't um, it wouldn't be super useful just because we've got a pretty good active already. Um. I think I'm going to take Holy Water out of all of these, and I think I'm going to kill these one by one to get charges. Yeah, okay, Holy Water was a good choice because of the, um, what's it called that we've got? The Trinket, the Lost Cork. Cool. So now the question is, do I use my charge of my whistle in here, or do I use it in the Planetarium? I think Planetarium, just because Planetarium is rarer. Even though Angel Deal is pretty swag, you can get some interesting stuff in there. I think going for in uh, Planetarium is more rare. We might get an Angel Deal on future floors. Store Whistle's so goddamn good. Right, so we move our way up. Into here. And we get ourselves Pluto, Mortiers, and Shrinkage. 
didn't give us any tiers. We're at max tiers. But we got the shrinkage, which is useful anyways. I like the fact that they all have a different storefront. They all look different. Unfortunately, we're all out of charges for this floor, so there isn't much else we can do. So let's head on our merry little way. Good floor, though. I think we're really doing a good job of uh, min-maxing on this run. Sun card is obviously good. We'll take the sun card for the next floor. Yeah, we're doing a very good job of min-maxing, I think, here, which is always nice to see, because I don't often do it. Right, down we go. We'll come into this big room and pop this. Dude, holy water with lost cork is amazing. A secret room here. Another tears up. I'm going to get the tears up just in case it goes over cap. It does go over cap. Nice. And now we want to probably be using um, secret room as our shop front. Which secret room shops or using the, the store uh, whistle are a bit iffy because sometimes they can be kind of crap. But the chance at items is there. It exists. So I think it's kind of worth it. Ow. Okay. We're doing really good on health though. Health and damage and stuff. We're, we're sitting pretty. Hello, big fella. How art thou? I... Because I'm small, I got closer to that than I expected. Didn't mean to bomb it. Just meant to reveal it so I could use it. My bad. Right, I'm just looking for another room to complete. Cool. Right, Star Whistle is ready. We're going to go use it in the secret room. Hope for an actual item rather than a bunch of nothing. Bunch of nothing. Yeah, unfortunately, there is just the chance that uh, in a secret room when you use Star Whistle, oh, well, any of those little little sh shopkeep dudes, there's just no item, which is completely fair because being able to summon viable shop items at will in the secret room would be very strong. Very, very strong indeed. Seed bag? Is that an active? I can't remember. No, it's not. Okay, I'll take it. Ah, oh, the Carolina Reaper, though, would have been good. But I like the pull route, guys. They're, they're pretty interesting. The fact that they can have different, like, tier effects based on them is, is really cool. It means you can get some pretty interesting stuff. Oh, we got another um, red rune rock over there. Let me go and grab that. Cool. Okay, I don't, I don't exactly know where I'm going to use this. Maybe I'll just pop it here. Nah, unfortunate. Okay, we've got another one here. So let's go back to our secret room. I am going to gamble on secret room most of the time with it, just because I think it's more worthwhile to do so. I'm just... Yeah. While we've got a lot of keys, though, the only thing we're wasting really is charges. Right, um... I guess we gamble on seeing if we can get another charge before the boss fight and try and use one in the angel deal or devil deal we end up getting, if we get any. I did that mostly for the charge. Okay. Keep her moving, keep her moving. Got a room over here. Don't know if we're going to get enough anyways, enough charges, but I shall try anyways. Demon's Tail, kind of interesting. Perks, another Perks is uh, very, very nice. They've been useful for us thus far. Easy of a room. Shop doesn't hold much of use for us. Yeah, we are going to get another charge. Good, good. 
just in case we want it. Oh god. Kind of a spooky room here. Got stuff an extra soul heart out of it though. Not half bad. Try and reveal the pull roots whenever we can. I need to hit something with holy water. There you go. Get that massive holy water spread going. A lot of burnies in this one. I suppose it is Ash Pit though, it makes sense. Okay, I think we're all good. Last word, yeah. Hey, holy water doing its doing its work. Just a range up here. Unfortunate. Um, I guess I'll just use it in here and see if we get any good boss items. <sighs> it's good, but then then we won't have any money to use our store key in the future. I don't think that's worth it. Right. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to say I want to keep as much money as I can to use our store key. Um, not store key. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Okay. Shouldn't have too hard a time in rooms like this. We've got a perks pill once again, like I said, to uh, play another sack room should one present itself to us. I really, really don't like those enemies. The way that they just like, oh, if you don't kill me in time, you just take damage. Like, no, no, no. No, thank you. Feels a little bit like bullshit. Hero font's very nice. Thank you. Also get one of these. Why not? Uh, didn't even pick it up. I'm stupid. Let me go back and grab that real quick because I missed it. I don't even know how. This seems to be the way to the boss. We got a random item in here. Unfortunately, it's not a great item for us right now because it heals red hearts. We don't particularly need that. This is good. We'll take it because it's going to give us more money. Which is weird for a shop item, but it does. So we've got our whistle ready. Try and find secret room. We've got no bombs, bugger. Okay, let's just let's just pop this anywhere for now then. Really? Really? Goddamn kidney bean, are you kidding me? Kidding me with a kidney bean? Offensive. Okay. All good on these guys. Still need to find our item room and potential sack room as well. I'll buy this, why not? King of Diamonds, what does that do? Inflicts all enemies in the room with Midas um, freezing, converts some rocks in the room. Okay, so we need a room with a lot of rocks and a lot of enemies. We'll see if we can find such a room. Pill? We don't know what that pill is. Belly button? Carry two trinkets isn't super useful. Mum's wig's pretty good. Yes, please. Ah, oh, fucking bugger. It's kind of a hard room, this. Oh god. Oh god! I didn't realize how aggressive the lasers were. Like, they have basically no downtime. My bad. <laughs> Took like four hits in that room for no goddamn reason. I'm a stupid. It's alright. It's okay. I Ooh, okay, so this room's probably the one to go for. Ah! Oh. I have just realized something pretty fucking stupid. So yeah, that room was great. 
We got quite a lot of um, golden. We don't have any fucking bombs, you moron. Goddamn, need bombs for this to work. I'm gonna bomb this in, in the chance that I get another bomb out of bombing it. Yay! Oh lord. Kind of a sketchy room there. Hanged man. This room might have been better because it has actual enemies in it. Oh well, I'm a goofball. What's left? Ah, oh, ghosty boy, that's what's left. Vanilla wafer's decent enough to grab, although it won't be super effective for us right now. Check what's going on in here. Bit of shot speed's not bad. Some more bombs. Joy pills isn't super useful right now. So far, been a pretty fun run. Got some reasonably good stuff going on. Like I said, I really like our star whistle setup you got going on here. Yeah, this was a bad idea using it in this room. I thought the Fool's Gold Rocks would hopefully be more bunched up and they kind of weren't. Anyways. You should have, I know I have an Eastern up there that I could use, but I'm not going to use it because I think they're a bit overpowered and a bit laggy. <laughs> no second secret room. Oh well. Ooh, hello. It's been a while. It's been some time since we've seen you, my good fair sir. We got him just about. Caffeine pill. We do need a speed upgrade, actually, so this isn't bad. Nitrogen up again. It's in our rotation at the moment. It just keeps showing up. I've got my pack pill here. I'm actually not sure what I'm going to use it for at this point. Because I was thinking, obviously, just use it for a sack room again, because that was super useful. But I could actually just hold on to it and save it for the boss. And it would give us double health in the boss. Ooh, hoo, hoo, baby. You're giving me ghost pepper. That's that's pretty gnarly. I've got minus one luck, so my luck isn't exactly the best for ghost pepper. But with um, Monstro's Lung, it should fire pretty re regularly, I think. Seems to be every, basically every other shot, pretty much. Which is more than enough for me. Our wisps and stuff have been so helpful this run. Okay, these guys only fire when I'm firing. All of them, all the types of enemies in this room only fire when I'm firing. Bugger. Yeah. Oh, what? I didn't get hit there. Pluto, you marvelous, marvelous little thing. Somehow I lived through all that. Take the soul heart. Pop this in the secret room. Bugger you, game. Right, we're gonna, we're gonna do another one because we're getting frustrated. One day it'll give us a secret room item we can purchase. One day. I wonder what the chances are. Probably like 25% or something, right? Yeah, see, it's just super unlikely that you get a, you get an item. I mean, you can see there there's a 15 cent key, which means that is an item that got re-rolled into a key because it's a secret room. Oh, I'm liking the setup we got going on here. Right, let's keep this moving. 
Queen Dominatrix woman. You two blow up. Oh, hello. Where did you come from, little fella? Little Solar Lilith? Little Sister Maggie for free? Little Conjoined for free? Conjoined for free that doesn't work? I got the stats down, but I'm not firing in Conjoined. Um, why? <laughs> this seems a little unfair. I'm not quite sure why I've been scammed, but I have. Hey, that's very good. Definitely take that. I always forget if you get those guys to fully pay out as well, they give you like a bonus. Give me a key. Yeah, I don't know why I'm not firing conjoined when I have conjoined. That's, that's weird. Strange times. If anyone knows what that's about, let me know in the comments, because I am confused. Then here we got Monster Manuel, which I'm not that interested in. Dad's Popsicle. Oh, uh, it's... It's the, the beard. Does that, did that say Popsicle? Please say it did. No, it didn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm just an idiot. I've had that item so many times, and yet I still think it's called Dad's Popsicle. Right, away we go. We'll do one more secret room pull on our um, on our whistle. So we've got one more room here to discover before the boss. Okay, I've got a secret room here as well, nice. Okay, that's a rather large shop, but unfortunately still fucking useless, my guy. No sacker in this floor either. We are wrecking the place up. Uh, the nail polish, yes please. At this point, maybe we do take false PhD. Nah. Uh, where's our second knife piece? Do I not have that mod installed right now? I mean, I'm meant to. Give... Knife... Piece 2. My bad. I'm supposed to have a mod that makes that knife piece show up in this room. Good stuff. To the next floor. Right, these last two floors really should be kind of a breeze. I think at this point we probably just want to keep the perks. Whale boy. Hello. Whale boy is taking a while to die. I think it's because he's frozen. His animation isn't playing correctly. Okay, he's just permanently frozen. Can we chill out on this guy? Okay, cool. We got him. He took a little bit to take down, but we got there. Be careful of these guys throwing teeth and spiders at us. It's all a bit much. You get, you still chase when you're dead, don't you? Yeah. You throw a maggot on the floor. You throw a maggot onto the floor. You don't care. See, you, you, it's a little bit late, game. It's a little bit late, but we finally got goddamn binge eater. No money from either of those, that's kind of, kind of fucking rude. I don't even know if I want shielded tears, I'm not sure, because with Monstro's Lung it might not be a great idea. Ok, 
Okay. But yeah, binge eater. Little bit late for it, my guy, but certainly not too displeased. One of my little ghosties finally died. Gave us a half soul heart. Oh wait, I didn't actually pick up the half soul heart. Wait. Ah, you bitch. Okay, I thought it drops in a place where I physically couldn't pick it up. Luckily, I just about grabbed it. Goddamn. But yeah, you, you keep play, play, play the numbers game. Eventually, you'll get Binge Eater. Might be a little late into the run for Binge Eater, but we still got it. You can't deny that. Ha! That, um, that rock regened when it shouldn't have, and it, uh, it bugged out this room a little bit. Oh, these goddamn skulls are real annoying. They proper zoom at you. Look at them. Skating around at the speed of sound. Calm yourself. And I got hit by something. Who knows what. Ooh, hello. Blessed Penny. Potentially good. Rosary. Okay, to be fair, we'll probably take the health item if we get enough money. If we get enough money, that is. What the hell are you guys? I don't know what they are. They're scaring me. Golden pill? Probably gamble on a golden pill. Thanatosis. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine. Balls of steel, lovely. Something's wrong. Telepills. So many shops, baby. So many shops. Right. Let's go back over here. Quickly play out this room. See Wagathwan in here. Get some money out of this. Cool. Come back over. To be fair, I've got a lot of red hearts about. I could probably get a good amount of money out of this. Let's play this bastard. Bleed him dry. Wasn't expecting that. I keep forgetting they do full heart damage on this floor. I wonder why my hearts were depleting so quickly. That's why you goon. Right, back over this way. One. Probably just keep these hearts at this point, just in case for the fight. We've got 30 cent now. Let's uh, quickly bomb into here. We don't even need to, it's already open. How kind of the game. And we can buy this now. Then buy our binge eater thing over here. Wherever that was. Where was that? This room? Next room? Next room? What the hell? Where was it? Maybe up? I don't remember. There it is. Give me that food. Hey, give me a soul heart as well. Okay, I'm already full. It's fine. I'm gonna get that damage bonus for a little while. Off of Binge Eater. 
Grab our perks. This isn't even the next floor yet, shit. Kinda thought this was the last floor already. My bad. So many wisps to be gained. Got like four that one room. Crack you boys open. Thank you. At this point, we just want to be using our uh, active in regular rooms to try and get as many items from Binge Eater as we can. Oh my god, it launched everything everywhere then. So we use it in here, we pop it, it'll give us an item guaranteed. And then we just... We take the Jacob's Ladder, actually. <laughs> I was going to say, we take the food. I'm sorry, but no, we take Jacob's Ladder in that situation, because Jacob's Ladder is way better than what the food would be. Wasn't expecting Jacob's Ladder, I'll be honest. I was expecting some trash. The game surprised me on this day. Let's get the hell out of there before that hits us again. Bosseth, oh Bosseth, where art thou? Nice and easy. We've only got two bombs, unfortunately, which can make the fight a little harder. Having more bombs is far preferable on this fight. Okay, we are wrecking the competition right now. Bombs are key. Actually, to, to be fair, in this scenario... Yes, please. I was just complaining about not having enough bombs. I think nine is more than enough. Anything over five, I'd say, is good. What the hell? That room says I've not been in it. On the minimap, look. That's weird. Room doesn't even exist. Right, unfortunately we went the wrong way to start with. Not make a trend of it. Yeah, this is the last floor, so we're, we're pretty much ready, set, go for this floor, I think. I don't think we've got any problems that could arise. I think we're pretty much set. Ah, the bloody stupid skulls. Told you they're a pain. Do you know what? I actually think that Blind Rage is going to be much better for the boss fight. Because we're not going to get many wisps off of killing stuff during the boss fight, are we? So, I'd say Blind Rage is a good shout for that ex them extra eye frames. I'm going to bomb out of that room because I don't like those dudes. And of course, it was the wrong goddamn way, so I have to bomb back through again or kill him. Okay, this guy was fine this time. Just that holy water thing last time. I was, like, expecting him to just not die. And it take forever. But this time, he was kind to us. We do have one of these here. I'll pop that. Right, quickly crack that open. Definitely grab these bombs. Grab that back. And we're out at the boss now. Let's see if we get our red room here, maybe. Ayo. Ooh, pretty good one, pretty good one. Oh, I took the fucking HP up. It's fine. The HP up's fine. Not what I meant to take, though. Excuse me, I didn't realize you'd pop up underneath me, you bastard. Right, this should be a very easy boss fight. With perks and the damage that we have, I wouldn't expect any major issues. Even if we get hit an absolute ton. There's no way she's going to kill us in time before we kill her.
Oh, and we got Pluto as well. I forgot that in this fight, Pluto makes most of the shots go directly over your head. My god, look at the damage we're doing. Like, I'm pretty sure, yeah, th this attack can't hit us. The only time it can hit us is when the tears drop to the floor. And that's where the bombs come in. But there you go. Very easy kill there. Hope you guys did enjoy. Very fun run indeed. And I'll see you guys in the next one.